Kitchen technicians, you are all warmly welcome back to my channel. I just want to say a big thank you for staying and sticking with us. We are very grateful. Please continue to share and like as well. Now, without much ado, let's set the ball rolling. Today, we are going to make macaroni and beef stir fry. Sounds interesting, isn't it? A delicious recipe you will love. Let's delve right into it. Okay, so let's get our two cups of beef on our chopping board and chop them real good, just like this. If you prefer bigger chunks, feel free and do that. So it is nicely chopped now. We will proceed to add our spices to it and marinate for a while. Now let's go right ahead and add a third cup of roughly blended ginger and spices paste. I made this paste with a little ginger, some onion, garlic, a bit of rosemary and thyme. We'll now add half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon curry powder, half teaspoon seasoning. Go right ahead and give it a good stir. We do not need salt at this point because the seasoning contains some salt. Guys, trust me, you will love this meal. The next step is to cover up. Here, I'm covering mine with plastic wrap. If your bowl has a lid, feel free and use it. All we want to do is to trap all the wonderful flavors in so we'll have ourselves some tasty spaghetti and beef stir fry. Now, we'll set this aside for about 30 minutes to marinate. While we wait, let's not waste the time. We will proceed with chopping our veggies. So let's chop our green bell pepper first. We'll continue by chopping our remaining onion. I used about a quarter of the onion as part of the ginger and spices base for the marinade. I love chunky onions in my stir fries. It's ideal to cut them bigger for this recipe. But feel free and chop them anyhow you like. Next is the carrot. Let's finally chop it and set it aside. The garlic is next. Do this before dicing your garlic. It's simple and easy. This is why we are technicians, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, all we need to do is to set our skillet on heat with water in it. We do not really need any measurement for the water. Next, we'll add one tablespoonful of oil and one teaspoonful salt. Cover up and leave to boil. Now, let's go ahead and cook the macaroni for our finger licking macaroni and beef stir fry. How are you liking this recipe so far? Please tell us in the comment section. We would love to know. Thanks so much. When the water starts boiling, we will proceed to add our macaroni. Stir and leave it to cook. Don't forget to cover up and leave it to cook for about 7 minutes. Be careful not to overcook it in order to avoid an all soaked macaroni and beef stir fry. Do not spoil this beautiful recipe. Not acceptable. <laughs> the macaroni is done cooking now, so we'll strain it. Make sure to get as much of the water out as possible. We'll set this aside ready to make our mm -mm -mm tasty meal spaghetti and beef stir fry right we are getting closer to a ready meal yeah we'll set a skillet on heat and put our one tablespoonful of margarine in it when it's done melting we'll go ahead and add half cup of oil and let it heat for a while we can now add the diced garlic and let it fry until golden we will now add our marinated beef and let it fry until it loses most of its juice. Next is to add our crushed tomatoes. 
stir to mix well and let it simmer for about five to seven minutes we'll stir intermittently so we don't burn our sauce it's turning out beautifully already okay let's add our chopped carrots and stir now it's time for our spices and seasoning let's throw in half teaspoon mixed spice half teaspoon black pepper our one teaspoon seasoning one teaspoon red chili powder and we'll now stir it to mix and we'll now stir it to mix everything together nicely after that we are now ready to add our macaroni so we'll add it and give it a good stir frying for about a while Kindly try this and let us know how your macaroni and beef stir fry turned out in the comment section guys. Thank you very much. Five minutes on medium heat. We will now proceed to add our chopped green bell pepper and onions and half teaspoon salt. Give this a good stir for another five minutes and our macaroni and beef stir fry is ready kindly try this and let us know how your macaroni and beef stir fry turned out in the comment section we would love to know guys thank you very much now you can enjoy this macaroni and beef stir fry i promise you you will eat this and eat again Please do like and share our video. Please do like and share this video. Thank you very much for your time. I have left the list. I have left the ingredient list just for you. Do check it out. Thank you. And do join me again in my next video. See you soon. Bye.